was the 80s movie queen who dirty danced with Patrick Swayze in their classic romantic drama. Nobody puts baby in a corner. She was even secretly dating Matthew Broderick while playing siblings in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's it. I want out of this family. Now, Jennifer is opening up about her Hollywood men, including one-time love Johnny Depp, a man she calls funny and sweet and just so, like, so charming and quirky and weird and self-effacing and just so unique. When I listen to the way that you describe him back then, are you at all shocked by what you've heard or seen about him now? I don't know him. I haven't known him for 30 years. The whole thing makes me insanely sad. These are people who are damaged and continuing to damage each other. It breaks my heart. Jennifer is getting candid about Johnny in her new memoir, Out of the Corner that also details the 1987 fatal car crash on a rainy day in Northern Ireland with Broderick behind the wheel. It was the most traumatic event I've experienced. Two women in Ireland were killed and my boyfriend was very severely injured mm -hmm. and I thought dead. Broderick was later charged with careless driving for the tragic wreck that happened just weeks before Dirty Dancing hit theaters. Good, now roll this way. Oh, man. You and Patrick were like the ideal pairing, and I want to know what the reality was behind the scenes. He was such a good person, such a big heart, like really kind. But the co-stars had behind the scenes tension. We were not natural mates. We weren't a natural fit. Now 33 years after Jennifer jumped into Patrick's arms, she's back as Baby, starring in and producing a Dirty Dancing sequel. It's not going to be a repeat. It's got to be its own thing. But first, her memoir, Out of the Corner, is out now. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.